On the question of women imams, do you believe there should be women imams? Definitely. I think it's really important for women to come out and um, there's a need for them at this time and age for women to come out and be imams. And do you think they should leave men in prayer or just women? No, both. Because you forget it, the, the Prophet's wife, she was a woman and she was um, a scholar herself. And people used to come to her to ask for religious rulings. So um, it is allowed. And I think it's important for women to come out and pray as well. Do you go to mosques? Obviously. Sometimes, not always. Would you go more if there were, uh, was a woman prayer leader? Definitely. And um, did you convert to Islam or were you born? No, no, I was born Muslim, but I was never a practicing Muslim. I only started wearing the headscarf when I was about um, university, uh, about, say, 1920. That's when I started to wear it. And you're a pharmacist, aren't you? I qualified as a pharmacist, but I don't practice pharmacy anymore. I, what do you do? I work in child protection. In where? Child protection. Right, and do you wear your veil to Yes, work? I do, and I have no issues at all. <laughs> and no judge or anybody's ever told you to take it off? No, never. <laughs> um, I mean, I must say, it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> and could you explain to um, my readers why you wear it? I think the simple reason is to increase myself in faith. Nobody has ever told me to wear it. I choose to wear it from my own personal beliefs and it just helps me to increase my faith. That's all it is. And how does it help you to increase your faith, would you say? I think um, when I'm wearing the headscarf, I'm wearing the dress, the, the, the thing that sort of attracts is, is the face. So that's why I thought, okay, just to increase myself, I want to start covering my face. And that was the only reason. Could you just tell me your name and where you're from? My name's Zahra, and I'm from Birmingham. Thank you, Zahra.